Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of some Isaac. We are jumping in again this time. We're probably going to go as Tainted or Tarnished, should I say, Samson. Um, I haven't played this guy much at all. I don't really know much about him. I remember playing him when he first came out, but I'm going to give him another go. People have asked for him. Basically, we punch. We do be punching. Um, and we have a bar that does this and then we can pick things up and throw them. But then also we have Killer Instinct, which allows us to kill ourselves, from what I remember. Um... We can only use it when we pick stuff up, I think, and then we smash it into ourselves. We go uber uber rage mode, and if we don't do anything before, so this this is just a dash normally um, if we're attacking. But if we don't do anything, we just die. I don't remember how to not die. I'll be honest. I can't remember if it's like if you finish the room, you don't die or something. Um, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But yeah, I can. Uh, I'm going to hold down my attack to do a slam. It's kind of an interesting concept. I, I kind of like this guy. He's pretty he's pretty quirky, pretty weird, um, but at the same time, kind of interesting. So we can pick these up and then throw them to have a little bit of range going on. I don't like the fact that you guys throw out fire. It's not my fault here. Uh, but for enemies like this, it's a little easier to do this. But yeah, I just... My, my, my sort of thing with him at the moment is I don't remember how slash when we're meant to use the, um, like, we're meant to use the rage mode, the killer instinct, other than just doing this, which didn't do any damage to me there. Okay, good. Um, Daddy Longlegs, pretty good stuff. And you see we've got, like, a tooth on our little jawbone now. Um, again, not entirely sure. These, these uh, tarnished characters are hella confusing, in my opinion. <laughs> They've all got such, like, bizarre things going on with them, and I don't really remember how they work. I'm, I mean, I'm gaining damage out of using this guy right now, which is good so far. Go, Daddy Longlegs, but don't kill me. He's going to explode. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. <laughs> As for the question of the day, what's something new that you've bought recently that you're really enjoying? Because for me... I've bought a new mic, and I'm not really enjoying it yet because I don't have it. You'll probably be able to tell I don't have it, but it should be arriving next week. So next week, you'll be hearing a much, hopefully, much, much, much higher quality. So now I've got my jawbone full. Does that mean that I want to be using Killer Instincts? I, I just don't know. So, like, let, let, let's, for example, let's plop this down. Let's do this. No. Let's do this. And then let's see what happens if I manage to escape this floor. Alright, we've got time, we've got time. I can't use Killer Instinct again, I can't heal. But going down to the next floor, maybe we'll stop this from happening? No, it has not. I, I thoroughly do not understand anything about this. Do I gotta do it again? Ah, that, that did work. I don't know if that's how it's intended to work, but it did work. So, we've we've gained some progress in our understanding. Meager, meager amounts, but... So maybe it's just that, like, when I, when I have pips, it uses up the pips to do my rage mode. I don't know, I don't see the rage mode as super valuable, though. It's, like, not that much stronger. I mean, it's, it's, it's a decent amount stronger, but not a crazy amount. But now I'm happy with just my small little punches. I can't pick that up with my punch though, which is rather sad. I wonder if I can dash over the, um... Wait, let, let's, let's figure this out. Yes, that does give you iframes, okay. X... And now we've got a 1.2 times multiplier. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> does, is the dash worth using? Uh, the dash seems a bit... A bit meh. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly going to die on this run while I figure things out. Um, I'm just going to use my chariot card here. Makes life easier. So I think my 1.2 times multiplier is just for how quickly I fill up my bar to gain my teeth notches. I'm on three now, and that's giving me fire rate and removing speed or adding speed? I think it's removing speed. Okay. Grab a few of these down. Throw them around. They don't do a lot of damage when you throw them, though. They're kind of meh. Right. Item room, what you got for me? Lost Fly is actually pretty decent. I'll take Lost Fly. He uh, attracts attention from us and does some good damage, so 
Really don't mind having him around. Bernhardt? No, but we did get a Quasar Shard, which is potentially pretty interesting. Where's the door? Where's the goddamn door? Hey, the dash! I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I used the Quasar Shard instead of my thingy. Okay, whatever. The dash, I don't, I don't see being super, super useful. It does give us a bit of iframe, so in that regard, it's pretty useful. But, like, overall, I don't see him using it too much. I'll drop a few of those down. I just, yeah, my, my confusion comes from I don't really understand the bar fully, and I don't really understand how I use my killer instincts, like, effectively without killing myself. I'm not 100% not certain on either on either side. My jawbone is fully filled now. That just comes from killing stuff. It's way up there. Oh, I have taken damage. I do get a multiplier every time I take damage. I took damage twice on that. That was some abysmal stuff from me there. So, in this scenario, I want to be using my killer instinct, right? I want to be doing this and then absolutely wailing on it, but it doesn't seem to increase my damage all that much, so I don't really know why I'd want to do this. I mean, I can't take damage in this phase, so that's half of the reason, I guess. But I, yeah, I'm not fully understanding it. This character's bizarre. Okay, cool. But we're going to die now, right? We killed him. No, we didn't die. Okay, so is it just if we finish the room, we don't die? Also, we got something from Battle Fantasy, which is the new mod I'm using. Tears plus look up. We like it. We like it. Um, yeah, well, let's just keep going. Yeah. Again, as this, similarly with Tarnished Isaac, this character is probably fairly simple once you understand them, but pretty complicated to initially understand without a tutorial. It's a strange one. And I feel like because of that, I'm going to end up like underutilizing a lot of aspects of the character which isn't ideal because I'll end up like being weaker than I should be really um I have a feeling that's gonna be a big sort of part of this is ended up underutilizing things that I should be uh making more uh, taking more advantage of but it seems like a, a good way to play this guy so far is just keep getting kills and build up your bar but I do need some more HP that'd be rather lovely the bar fills up pretty quick. I do like the fact that you get a multiplier on taking damage that keeps sort of that theme of this character alive. Good stuff. I would like to if, we could, if our punches could pick stuff up. I mean, technically my hands are going over there, so it only makes sense. Good, good. We can drop a few bombs on this and garner ourselves some good stuff potentially. What makes you larger? Amnesia. Golden Odd Mushroom. Which I don't think actually does anything. I don't think it's any better. But we did get a ton of fire ray out of it, which is pretty good. Oh, I can hold this down. I've been tapping it the entire time. Much better to just hold it down. Good, good, good. I don't know if us being larger is better here. Gimpy's very good for us. Yeah, I don't know if us being larger is better. I think our fist's hitbox is maybe bigger. I'm not entirely sure. Should probably grab that lockpick, but I think it's over a gap, isn't it? Do we care about damage is the question. Do we really care? There's a black heart finally. We charge up our ability to drop rocks a lot faster with higher fire rate, I'm noticing. I wanna I wanna experiment with the with the killer instinct thing and see how I can find out how it works, but I also don't wanna kill myself by accident by doing it wrong. For example, this room here. Let's try it out. I killer instinct on this room, and then I kill you. And in theory, that should mean that I survive, right? Okay, I've lost my face. My face is is void. <laughs> okay. Good to go. 
We're, we're at least not dying right now, so I'm doing something right. I'm trying to use Killer Instinct to my advantage. I think I'm taking, making the most of it, but who goddamn knows? Gimpy is going to be so goddamn good for us here. <laughs> it's going to keep us alive so heckin' much. <laughs> Thank you, Gimpy, for being part of this experience. But yeah, as I was saying, I'm getting a new microphone, and it's a much better microphone. The one that I have now is a... Um, I forget the name of it now. Um, hello. Um, I forget the name of it now. It's um, a Blue Yeti. I've got a Blue Yeti um, microphone. It's pretty good, but it, it was it was about like eighty pound, and this new one I've got is like about retails at about like two hundred and eighty. I got it for like two hundred pound, but apparently it's meant to be like the top dog microphone for YouTube or like one of the best that isn't obviously over a grand or whatever. Um, cursed eye with this. Oh, that would be gross. Um, there's apparently a uh, a luck penny in here that I'm not seeing as well, which I'd I'd like to. Make my way over towards. I'm gonna have to bomb through this. Nice. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I'm really, really hoping it ups my mic quality by quite a bit. Which I honestly, my mic quality isn't that bad for you guys. I'm sure many of you have absolutely no issue with my mic quality, but for me, ooh. I don't like it. <laughs> I think I'm just so used to listening to it that I've gotten bored of it. And now I'm like, nah, it doesn't sound good. Um, so yeah, I, I'm definitely sort of ready for a new one. Uh, Reroll all trinkets in the room by subtracting their ID by one. Mm -hmm. Capsule of Azerite spin down. We'll take it. Oh, come on, Bob's rotten head. Don't be a dick. There you go. I like the way it drops skulls for this one. That's pretty cool. We are wailing on fools at the minute. We've got very good fire rate. I'm liking that. Just need to use my killer instincts a little, a little more often. Let's use it in here. See what happens. I think I've just got to get a certain amount of damage dealt while I'm in this mode for it to uh, not kill me at the end. But I like doing this and then plopping another one of them on my head just in case. That seems to work. Ooh, magic skin. I think that would kill me, right? At this stage. Very intrigued by the fuck it. Mum's cell phone. Spawn a doppel. Ugh, that's gross. Why would you do that to me? Again. We risked it all, and we got we got two items that are pretty meh for us right now. But there were secret room items, I had to try it. Bob's Rotten Head is definitely going to kill us here. <laughs> I know that for a fact. Oh lord, this is going to be bad, isn't it? <laughs> oh, what have I done to myself? But, we're experimenting. That didn't work the way I was hoping it would. What's, what's, what's going on right now? <sighs> Not privy at all to what the hell just happened there. Um, I don't like this doppel thing. Having a second character is never a good thing, so... An item adding that to me is, is not something I would uh, accept as, as good for me. Killer Instinct. And suck this one up. Bloop. It returns me back to normal, right? No. That kills me this time. Do we know why? No. Not at all. Every other time, that hadn't killed me. But that time, it killed me, and I do not know why at all. Very, very confusing. This character is... Not my favourite. <laughs> not my favourite. No, I, I, I've, I, like, I, 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 I've spoken about it numerous times before. I, like, I, I definitely, like, I'm, I'm checking out these characters again because they've all been updated, and also because people just want to see them. But I, I've spoken pretty vocally before that Epiphany isn't my favourite mod. Um, I think that the people that have made these characters have done an 
an unbelievably outstanding job. Like, the mod is very, very good. I just don't think it's for me. I just don't think it's my style. I, I, I really like, um, I really like the idea of, like, Andromeda and stuff like that, where it's like an entirely unique idea that's, that's not really related to the base characters or sort of even Isaac as a whole. I kind of like the things that take on a whole new thing. Even stuff like Jerb, and especially Tainted Jerb, I really, really like the, the ideas that them characters implore. And I think that they have a level of complexity to them, especially like Tainted Jerb, but it's not, it's very surface level. You don't have to like dig deep to find out what the hell's going on. Whereas I feel like with pretty much every single Epiphany character, if you haven't watched a tutorial, you are going to miss out and you're going to misplay the character. And personally, I think the philosophy and the design of that is a bit flawed. Like, you shouldn't ever need a tutorial to play a character. I mean, I'm absolutely shit in the bed right now. Um, and a game like this, I don't think a, a tutorial should be necessary. And the thing is, you don't need you don't need to watch the tutorials to play the characters. The characters are still perfectly playable without it. I mean, I'm getting on just fine with this guy, and I'm slowly figuring it out. Um, but there's still aspects of it I don't understand. I mean, Tarnished Isaac last time was just a complete mystery to me. Why? I, I'll be honest. I I cannot fathom why anyone would want to play that character. That character seems big fat dookie. Like. It just seems to go, ooh, you got a good item. I'm going to take it in like seven or eight rooms. It's not yours anymore. It's like, mm, that doesn't seem like a super enjoyable experience to me. I don't I don't want my quality four item to be taken off of me, please. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the deal is with him or if I was missing something. But people in the comments seem to think that I kind of understood the character. And that's just how it works. And I think even one of the developers or at least contributors of the mod commented back about the uh, complexity of the character at one point. So I appreciate them coming back with a with a bit of rebuttal on some of the things that I said, but still not not my idea of, of like what I'd want to see. So let, let's do this again and see what's what. We got we got low health. I just I thought this rage mode would like massively beef up your damage or something. And it just doesn't. <laughs> right, rage mode's done. Pick up our item. And we're down to the next floor. We didn't die that time. Again, not entirely sure why. Um. Oh my god. I think maybe just um, Widow's animation for his death hadn't finished playing. And that's why I died. Technically... Even though he was dead, I technically hadn't killed him. But yeah, this this character feels very, very weak to start off with as well. Like, my punches are decent, but like, very, very low range, obviously. Quite high risk. I'm getting through it, but I think this is going to be a rather short episode, and people are going to have to filter back to me in the comments about what the hell I'm doing wrong. Because <laughs> at the minute, I'm unsure. Um, But yeah, I think like, Tarnished, tarnished, um, Eden, tarnished, uh, lost. Really interesting characters with some slightly more complicated mechanics, but not, not so much so that it's like off putting or anything. But the, the other ones, tarnished Judas, um, tarnished Samson, tarnished Isaac, Maggie to a certain extent are all. A little outside of my wheelhouse, a little outside of of, of what I want to play when I play a modded character. Oh my god. Okay, so I've entered rage mode now. And I've managed to gain some HP and I won't die now, right? I don't get it. I just... I don't get it. I went into rage mode because I died. Fair enough. I grabbed HP while I was in rage mode, which I would have assumed, I would have assumed when the rage mode ended, I would return back to the HP that I just picked up. But I just died? Was I meant to finish the room in order to not die? I, I just, I don't know. I don't know, and I feel stupid. I feel stupid. That's a lot of keys. Right, we're starting this one strong with half a heart. <laughs> I 
It's okay though, it's okay. Right, killer instinct. No, it didn't work. God damn it. Killer instinct. Ki Why didn't it kill her instinct? Killer instinct. Eat the damn thing. Then we do that, and does this return us back to normal? It does. So, yeah, I, I've got to, like, do the whole absorbing into the head thing, I guess, every time I do that. I don't know, it just seems finicky to me. Oh, and now I've entered rage mode again. So if I do this really quick... Nope, I don't survive that. I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. I feel incredibly confused, and I just... No. <laughs> I just... I'm not a big fan of this character. Probably because of my pea-sized brain and my lack of understanding. But this is exactly what happened when I played him the first time around as well. I don't think he's changed since then. I just couldn't get a grip of what I was meant to be doing. And how I was meant to play this guy optimally. And it, it just seems like the best way to play this guy is to never use Killer Instinct because it might kill you. And you're not quite sure when it will and when it won't, or at least I'm not sure. So next time I play him, I'm just not going to use Killer Instinct at all, I don't think. Um, which is just not the right way to play him, because it kind of cuts half of the mechanic out of the character. But if someone can give me, especially a developer, a roundup of what I'm doing wrong, and where I'm missing this guy's power, because I feel like this character is meant to be, like, in sort of my estimation of, like, tarnished characters and the way that they should progress, is you've got the regular character, which is the established, like the establishment of what the character is. The establishment of sort of their their niche or their gimmick. Usually a fairly light version of that in the vanilla game. The tarnished version is taking, usually taking part of their existing kit and either warping it or enhancing it to make it sort of more, uh, more of a sort of bigger aspect of the character. Um, sort of thinking like Beth to Tainted Beth. Bethany, you you establish that your your entire sort of dependency is on Wisps, but then it's literally a flipped version of that where instead of red health, you have soul hearts, and instead of regular Wisps, you're getting item Wisps. So that kind of makes sense. But then the tarnished characters, I don't really... I don't know what where the ev evolvement sort of comes in. It, it seems to be some vaguely related thing that, I don't know, especially for Samson, it doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense to me. Like, I, I, I get the theming of the Jawbone bar thing, the Bertrand sort of bar that you're building up, I kind of get that. Although, arguably, I think Bertrand proved that, that idea isn't ideal. I, I, I don't know many people that loved that idea in Bertrand. Um, so, I don't know about that. But anyways, I kind of like the theming of the Jawbone, and obviously you've got the, the Rage mode, but I kind of expected it to more be like more built around taking damage on purpose. I'd, I'd love to have seen a character that was more... I know that Tarnished Maggie sort of has that. In fact, to be fair, Tarnished Maggie is exactly what this character should have been. If Tarnished Maggie didn't exist, this would fit really well into the Tarnished Samson role, I think. Um, but I think something that plays more around with, with getting hit on purpose or taking damage would kind of be more thematic. Um... Because we've kind of already done the jaw burn thing. I don't know. I, I I don't know. This guy does still gain bonuses from getting hit. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. Um. Either way, if people can give me a bit of an understanding of what's going on with this guy, how to play him, how to enjoy him, then I'll probably come back to him. But otherwise, if this is just what the character's like, I've got to say it's not for me and I probably won't play him again. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.